spring of 2010, my family and I are traveling to Oregon and we stopped by a spoopy motel off the side of the road. The whole place was weird because it wasn't a single building, it was actually a bunch of little buildings surrounding a play area. The air was moist, the trees were barren, the paint was chipping off the walls. I've been watching Ghost Adventures for months with my dad, so I already knew what was up. Tell me what your name is. And his name is John C. We loaded our stuff into the room and I was watching Phineas and Ferb on their massive TV. It was like one of those old timey ones. We had to hit it to make it work. Staring out the window, I could see a storm brewing outside on the horizon. This is it, I told my 10 year old self quietly. I'm gonna catch a McFreakin' ghost. I had my voice recorder set on my phone. I knew all the questions to ask the ghost from TV. The setting was plenty creepy. Now all I needed was like, an actual ghost. I walked into the lobby like a natural Zach Bagans and I just straight up asked the lady at the front desk, hey, uh, has anyone been murdered here? She looked at me with big eyes and was like, oh yeah. Apparently the owner had been shot and killed in that very lobby during a robbery five years prior. The killer was caught and was spending a life sentence in prison and the lobby was completely recarpeted and painted. The family sold the motel since it held such horrific memories for them and the murder completely rocked the community. The owner was super beloved by a lot of people and he did a lot of good stuff in his community it was just a really tragic story. So after hearing all of this, the first words out of my 10 year old mouth was, can I spend the night in the lobby and see if it's haunted? The answer was a really abrupt no, but that didn't stop me on my desperate hunt. I was gonna prove to myself that the paranormal was out there and end up scaring myself half to death in the process. I was gonna become famous and a millionaire and show the haters. I was gonna be featured on MTV as the ghost boy and talk to the Ellen show and have my own Netflix series and drive a Ferrari. And I sat alone in the living room of our condo reading a book. I was waiting until about 11.55 or so to start asking all the serious questions. Questions. All the lights were out. Everybody was asleep except for me. It was a stroke of midnight and I got chills. I could feel it. It was hashtag real spoop hours. I started investigating. Or is there anyone here with me? I got nothing. Are there any spirits in the room with me? Hey, if you're here, can you show me a sign? Can you make something move or make a noise in the- The bathroom door just slammed shut for no reason. My 10 year old heart did a backflip, but in the bad way. I was frozen on the couch that I was sleeping on. All I heard was the gentle hum of the AC outside the window. The TV flipped on. Phineas and Ferb came on and the remote was across the room. Mom woke up and got mad at me for turning it on. I tried to explain to her that it was pretty much impossible for me to turn it on since the remote was over there and I'm right here, but she was too sleepy to really follow me since she'd been driving the whole day. Then I did something I hadn't done in years. I hid under my blanket. It took me hours to go to sleep after that and every bump I heard freaked me out. The following morning, I was exhausted. We just packed all of our stuff and went into the main lobby. There was a different girl working at the front desk. Mom was signing all these papers and stuff, and I just casually hung over the counter and was like, hey, I'd like to report a haunting. The woman at the front desk's demeanor totally shifted. She got super intense and looked at me and I described what happened. After I was done, she nodded and looked at me and said, yeah, I, I believe you. Mom kind of asked why, is something wrong? The lady kind of shakes her head, the owner of the motel who was murdered in that lobby? That day was his 50th birthday. Now in hindsight, was it a ghost? Eh, probably not. But it's a pretty cool story with the neat coincidence thrown to mix nonetheless. Either my entire understanding of human consciousness, life and death, and basic biology are completely incorrect and the entire scientific community is dead wrong on the subject and it is possible for human spirits to linger, let alone exist or a guest of wind closed the bathroom door and an electric surge turned on the TV. I'm not much of a believer in ghosts, but they're a lot of fun to draw. Hey, just a heads up that every video this month is gonna be spoopy for October. I have a few secret projects in mind coming up that I'm super excited to share with you. And you can be kept in the loop by clicking that subscribe button and hitting the bell so you'll be notified. In the meantime, you should probably follow me on Twitter. Don't follow me on Facebook because nothing happens on Facebook. It's really boring there. By the way, uh, the next few videos are gonna be considerably longer than this one, I promise. Yo, happy early Halloween and I'll see your beautiful faces next week.